you talk a little bit about your experience of David? We were, I feel, in a very privileged you know, position because of our devotion. We have just given our lives over to being here um, at this because that's what's truly helpful for our mind right now. And, and we get to spend a lot of time hearing from David directly. Anything you feel to share for yourself about your experience of that? Of being in proximity? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a book of people sitting at kitchen tables with David. And we actually sit with, at kitchen tables with David all the time. Well, my experience has been just a very consistent upliftment being around David and, and him just having so much energy to constantly give and share I mean, without end. And I just feel always carried deeper and deeper in the midst of, of the talks that we're, we're a part of. And, and yeah, I, I don't know if there's anything else to say. It's just, yeah, it's the unwinding in action. Mm. Yeah. And it feels like it, it's always just the spirit really speaking through directly to whatever is helpful for me to hear in the instant. So recently he asked us what our wishes were for the summer, which was a funny thing for him to say, but I, I'm hearing to ask you again now. What's your wish for the summer? I'm just wanting to open up to deeper and deeper love and, and connecting and mm. intimacy and, and and to really come into myself a capital S self that yeah just to just let myself be in my joy and and share it and shine it and, and just be in be in a rest with that yeah, I heard just to let yourself go. So yeah. You start to like just, it's involuntary. So. Yeah. And you've come from quite a Christian background. And, and even though this is a course in unwinding the mind from the previous forms of Christianity into the true experience of being Christ, maybe you could speak to that a little bit. Yeah, I feel like it was definitely given for me to have that back, that backdrop as a kid. And yeah, I felt like there was always this, this spiritual seeker in me. So while in church, I, I felt like there was this subtle discernment that I had that, you know, I knew when my heart was tickled from, from certain things and, and not so much from others. And yeah, it feels just like the words in red, what Jesus spoke, is what I really resonated with, and, and the freedom and the experience that it was communicating. And yeah, it just feels like um, a lot of the, the fluff and the nonsense that wasn't needed, it was just laid aside. Um, it was just a stepping stone. It was a good foundation to you know, continue on elevating and, and truth and the experience of truth and yeah I was just I felt naturally led to this pathway I felt very kind of magnetized to it it was just so involuntary to come out and join the community and and get involved with the course and just so drawn to David's YouTube videos so yeah, I felt like I I didn't really have a choice in it. It's just it was just, you know, there was a call in my heart and this is what was given and it's so so concentrated and straightforward and yeah, I just feel blessed well, to be we're a part so, of this. So glad you came. Yeah.
you know, there's there's ones that they come and like um, before I even met you, you were on that trip with Chris and Val and and I heard them say, and we have Cody here with us, this new guy, and I instantly could feel this resonance. There's just this vibration of reflections that are going to be truly helpful for you in your life that just keep showing up. And it's all prearranged. We don't have to actually traipse around the world trying to meet people that would be good for us to connect with or know anything about. You know, we, just, it's, we stay in one spot and everything, just like everyone else, comes right in front of us. So. Yeah, it feels like, yeah, you're just standing still and watching what the Spirit presents as a lesson or an assignment. And, yeah, it's more of a passive role in the awakening. That is, yeah. it's all the Spirit's orchestration. Yeah, in fact, all our running around trying to be really good and trying to be really willing is like, could you just sit down for one yeah. second so I can like, impart something to you? Yeah. Yeah. And you just have to wear yourself out and, yeah which is <laughs> what I'm approaching I've <laughs> maxed on yeah that. I've been pretty active with that I'm trying to improve myself hmm. or be better in some way or worthy but it's just to to give up the the energy directed in that in that focus it's it's like dropping that and just recognizing the innocence the present innocence and worthiness and again, that's magnetic. So it's like, it all starts coming towards the self we're experiencing ourselves as, and everything just gets taken care of. Yeah. Yeah, it's very restful. And you're just witnessing miracles instead of trying to make them happen. Yeah. <laughs> this one's, they're not satisfying at all. Yeah. The misdirected, or I'll, I'll bestow it here type. Yeah. Um, involuntary. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It'd be lovely to have you come talk in our chapel.